For a moment, think now. Our bodies are two-thirds water mass. Is it randomly distributed? And the answer is, of course, no. So the issue in terms of biology of water is how does water cross barriers? How does water cross the plasma membrane? The Nobel Prize Inspiration Initiative uh, is launched in Russia this week. This is the first time we have such an event in Russia, in both Moscow and St. Petersburg, and it has been a great success. For me, it was really great to meet a Nobel Prize winner. I'm very happy, I'm very excited that I visited this meeting. He's a very friendly, I like uh, some other professors that I met in my life. <laughs> We had a very friendly discussion about everything that we cared and he cared about. It was really amazing and awesome that uh, he is talking with us in a really close way, so like we are his friends. He's very outgoing. Uh, he talks uh, with us with, uh, very friendly. We can uh, ask him uh, whatever. So how does one make progress when you're stuck? It's the conversations with other scientists that oftentimes leads to the answer. And these conversations occur when we least expect important insight. I was really, really impressed uh, by the, both the passion and interest of the young uh, students and young scientists, uh, as well as the quality of the questions. I asked him um, if he was dreaming about a Nobel Prize. Let's be honest here. I'm not going to ask for a show of hands, but what scientist hasn't had a little pleasant daydream that maybe someday the phone will ring with a pleasant Swedish accent? In the end of the lecture, he sang the song, so it was very funny. <laughs> There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and rhenium, and nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium, and iron, americium, ruthenium, uranium, europium, zirconium, lutetium, vanadium, and lanthanum, and osmium, and acetate, and radium, <laughs> and gold, and protactinium, <laughs> and indium, and gallium, and iodine, and thorium, and thulium, and thallium. Well, he's an ingenious communicator, I see, so see, he's so warm, he's so um, open, you know, and his lecture, and finally his the last part of this song, <laughs> he sang, so it was fantastic. Unanimously agree. <laughs> the main thing that I will take from this meeting uh, will be that you need to really uh, work with your soul, that you need to, to be enjoyed. It is very important to, to pursue your dreams and to have a good time, have friends and just, just enjoy your life in, in science. It's a great scientist that this is in total a great event. Because sometimes uh, when you feel that you need an inspiration and uh, I finally get it today. And it's very important to be surrounded by great people, to meet great people, to ask them some questions. And uh, if you meet great people, more or less you become greater yourself. 